this video I will tell you about our recently published review which is focusing on the design of novel polymers with enhanced megaadhesive properties. Mucosal membranes are wet tissues in our body, lining the walls of various cavities such as the airways, gastrointestinal and reproductive tracts, the eyes and the mouth. They provide protection from chemical and mechanical damage. They also ensure lubrication and regulate moisture content of underlying epithelial cells. Administration of drugs by mucosal surfaces is called transmucosal drug delivery, and mucoadhesion is defined as attractive interactions between the dosage form and mucosal surface. The first use of mucoadhesive polymers was reported in 1947 in dental application of penicillin to the oral mucosa. However, the wide use of mucoadhesives began in the early 80s following pioneering research of Professor Nagai. The established routes of drug administration include ocular, nasal, oromucosal, esophageal, gastrointestinal, vaginal, rectal and intravesical. There is a growing research in the use of mucoadhesive materials as shown by the number of publications. All water-soluble polymers have some ability to adhere to mucosal surfaces. They are considered as mucoadhesives of the first generation. These include cationic polymers such as chitosan and poly-2-dimethyl amino acetate, anionic polymers such as polyacrylic acid and its derivatives, and salts of alginate, carboxymethyl cellulose and pectins. And also neutral polymers such as cellulose ethers, polyvinyl pyrrolidon and polyethylene oxide. Materials whose mucoadhesive properties were enhanced with chemical modification could be defined as mucoadhesives of the second generation. This enhancement could be achieved through the ability of materials to form covalent bonds with molecules present on mucosal surfaces. The first example of these materials is thiolated polymers, which were pioneered by Professor Andreas bernkopf schnurk from University of Innsbruck. These polymers are capable to form covalent disulfide linkages with the thiol groups present in cysteine residues in mucins. The next class of mucoadhesives are materials modified with catechol groups. These are able to form catechol thiol and catechol amine adducts with mucins. There are a number of synthetic strategies that could be used to modify polymers with catechol groups. Here we show some possibilities for modifying chitosan. Polymers with boronated groups represent the third class of materials with enhanced mucoadhesive properties. They could form dynamic covalent bonds with 1,2 cis diols in carbohydrate fragments of mucin. Professor Bianco Pellet from Technion University pioneered the acrylated polymers with enhanced mucoadhesive properties. These carry acryl oil groups that are capable of forming covalent linkages with diols of mucins via microaddition reaction. Examples of acrylated polymers in the literature currently include diacrylates of polyethylene glycol and pruronic uh, or acrylated chitosan from Bianco Pellet's group as well as acrylated cationic nanogels from our own research group. Recently, we also expanded this class of materials to methacrylates by demonstrating that methacrylated chitosan also exhibits enhanced mucoadhesive properties. Materials with malamide groups are also capable of forming covalent bonds with styles under physiological conditions. Our research group was the first to demonstrate the potential of these polymers for transmucosal drug delivery. The current examples of these materials include polyvinyl pyrrolidone nanogels, liposomal formulations, and malamide functionalized alginate and chitosan. Very recently, Professor Berkop-Schnurk group 
also pioneered the use of N-hydroxysuccinamide and N-hydroxysulfosuccinamide as the polymers with enhanced mucoadhesive performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to learn more about this topic, you're welcome to read our review.